Did everything I can to make you happy. Hey. Hey, Jimmy. Did you get the parts or what? Maybe I'll just wait for you to get here. All right, I'll see you later in the afternoon. The asshole's here again. I'll go get Dad. You killed him, man. I know you killed him. I hope they lock you up forever, you son of a fuck you, bitch. You're not gonna get away with no life. Come on, come on. Scumbag. Walk away. Come on. Come on. Rotten hell, bitch. that well. That's not going to happen. The guy needs to be restrained. We know enough that, in fact, what happened at the house was not an accident. And the guy that you want to have restrained, he's going to be able to put your client at the house. My client and the deceased were friends. They visited each other quite often. Tell me, why were you at the house that day? Who said he was at the house that day? You're amazing. I brought him here because my client is innocent. There's no way you're going to convince the judge you've got a case. Do you own a motorcycle? Just like the one your body shop guy has. What color is it? Same. Dark blue with chrome. Tell me, why did your good friend accuse you of murder? He's pissed because I fucked this girl. You did business with Jimmy, didn't you? No. We socialize with the same group of people. You've been around this block before, haven't you? You've been convicted before, haven't you? Don't go there. This past is history. 
My client has a very prosperous construction business. Yeah, and I'll bet you you've lined up six employees to testify on his behalf already, haven't you? It's the truth. This man was 50 miles away at the time of the accident. Your accuser guy will say anything to hurt this man. Jealousy. Sorry, pal. You know you have no case. I want to tell you a little story. I wear this bracelet every day. Had it made out of a handcuff. And it's to remind me to put guys like you behind bars. Except today, I'm just sorry I don't have a needle to show you. All right, that's it. End of story. Let's go. Let's go. I always thought you were a medical doctor. I hope you're not disappointed. I work very hard for my PhD. Doctor, would you like some coffee or juice? Coffee, thanks. I'll take care of it. Thank you, sweetie. But look at Vera now, all grown up, pretty, smart. This pain is not curable. I agree. When parents lose a child, their lives change forever. There's no cure for that. Then why are you here? Well, initially, when Sarah called me, I was reluctant, only because I've known you and your family for a long time. And then she called me and asked me if I knew of a family who had survived the untimely death of their child. So I decided to come. Unfortunately, my family didn't survive the death of my older brother. My sister started drinking, taking drugs. My parents couldn't deal with the fear of losing her. And we all became strangers. Jimmy is gone. You and Sarah are great parents. Vera's about to graduate from college. Sarah's engaged to be married. Doctor, would you mind to leave us alone? I'll go have my coffee with Vera. You called him because we need help. I don't have to be reminded by all these people how to deal with my pain. You're stronger than I am. You can listen and talk to them. I have to do more. Just let me handle it my own way for a little while longer. That's all I ask. I'm doing everything I can to keep this family together. Anymore. There's no reason to wake up the whole neighborhood. I don't care. I don't care. I want God to hear my voice. I want my family back together again. George, I don't know what to do anymore. Every day you tell me tomorrow, tomorrow, and it's just not happening, George. George, I want my husband back. 
back in my life. Help me. Help me to mourn the death of our son. Help me to mourn him with respect and fond memories. Stop it. I'm not trying to hurt you. You know what? When you come to my bed, come to my bed. That's when I'll believe you, George. I'm not doing so well with the hotel accounts. I want to drink some. We're losing too many clients. I'll see you at work. Come here for a second. George, welcome back. It's good to be back, Rose. Could you send my son in? George. Hi, Tarot. I stopped by to thank you for everything you did. I did everything I could to put that piece of shit behind bars. Jimmy is my little brother. This crooked lawyer tried to make me the suspect. Want to see the car? Car? Yeah, I told Ciro all about him. Come on, I'll show you. I only helped him with the paint job. Jimmy knew what he wanted to do, George. And he was good at it. He saved every dime he made to buy this car. And he worked very hard to put his life back in order. Where'd he get the money? He and Ara, they were dealing. But he promised me he'd stop as soon as the car was paid off, and he did. My son Jimmy was selling drugs? Like I said, he quit. But that shit bag could not do it on his own. Jimmy had all the contacts. Keep it. George, this car's worth a lot more money than you think. It's not a payoff, Tro. I want you to have it, that's all. He 
He did it, George. No doubt about it. Jimmy told me on the phone. You cannot let him get away with murdering your son. I'm sorry, George. I wish I had the balls. I can get you someone. I know I'll do it for the car. You're not gonna do anything crazy, True. Jimmy was lucky to have a friend like you. You could do me a favor. Bring the car to the house. Show it to my wife. I'll do it uh, Sunday. Rich boy. Contacts. They all know you. Just take me to them. It's not going to happen. Now get lost, or I'll torture Harry ass. You told me on the phone. Assholes here again. How'd your day go? It went. Did you know our son was a first class mechanic? I've seen him fix his old car. He turned his life around. It was an accident, George. You believe that? No suspicions. No doubts. Yes, I do. They found no drugs or alcohol in his system. That's not what I meant. Jimmy had no enemies. I wish you'd stop talking to his friend, Tro. George. Don't go looking for an excuse to do something crazy. And I wish you'd go spend some time with your daughter. Where is she? She's in her room. I want her to have dinner with us. I can't. Well, then I don't care anymore. Yeah, you should be. You know what? Can we not talk about it anymore? Hey, baby. Hey, Dad. When did you get in? A few minutes ago. The smartest person in this family. Tell your father something intelligent so he can say it to his beautiful daughter to ease her pain. I'm trying, Dad, really. I read the Bible, do my yoga. This is hard. I know. Our family is going through terrible times. We have to pull together to survive it. How are you handling it, besides taking all that medication? I stopped the pills. And I went back to work. And I want you to go back and finish college. Do you believe in God? 
I've never seen you pray. Come downstairs and have dinner with us. I'll say grace. So where's Dad? He's with your sister. Dad made a few phone calls today and got back all the clients that we lost. I mean, what a difference an old pro makes. Only pro, not old. Sorry. Were you intimidated? It was a great learning experience. But tomorrow I'm bringing back all the workers. Good. Get the wine. Let's have a drink. Dad will say grace today. Be merciful to me, O oh God. Be merciful to me. For my soul trusts in you. And in the shadows of your wings, I will make my refuge until these calamities have passed by. Amen. Amen. It's his day off. I think he's golfing. Any idea where? Try Altadena. There are very few things we miss in life. Mostly the ones we take for granted. I saw you at the funeral. I was hoping you'd talk to me. It was a sad day for all of us. I was full of anger. I still am. I let you down, Hank. And it cost us our friendship. But it's not just the money. With you, it's always about the money. But then, that's how life is. You stole from your father-in-law, forged the signature of the man who paid for everything so you can become a lawyer. Is that why you're here, George? To remind me of how badly I screwed up? When you hit the hard times, I couldn't help you. Or well, maybe I wouldn't. Timing was screwed up. Timing? Between us? I got disbarred. I needed your help to save my practice. I couldn't look in the eyes of the man who had invested millions with me and ask him, forgive and forget all the money you embezzled from him. I brought you his money. You didn't question it then. Now, looking back, I think your father-in-law went too far. I should have done something. It was a long time ago. I paid my dues. I have a new life now. I miss the old days. When we had fun together with our families. The worst thing that can ever happen to a parent is to lose a child. You changed. We all did. I will always love Jimmy. He was a good kid. I loved him like a son. But he's gone. My son was tortured. No one, no one could hurt my family and get away with it. 
It was an accident. Our son Jimmy was a drug dealer. But when he quit, the scum showed him no mercy. It's your guilty conscience. I'm not being there for your son. Nothing you do will bring him back. I don't blame you, Hank. You'll always be my friend. To nicht den Garrisers. Almost over. Thanks. I'm beginning to like you. What's wrong? I'm gonna go to court and get reinstated. What do you mean? Be a full pledge lawyer again. Wow, that would be great. And after I pass the bar, we're gonna go celebrate with some exotic Come island. Away. I never want to see that man again. I hope you file the paperwork this week. Thank you. So beautiful. John, how are you? Hank, man, it's been a while. Yeah, that's because you've been doing business elsewhere, my friend. Don't blame me, Bubba. I only buy from people that are hungry to sell. <laughs> Why not? Listen, uh, I got a small pile to move. You know the sky's the limit for you, Bubba. When can we meet? I'll stop by tomorrow. My youngest needs a new car. That's good. I'll see you then. All right, Chantari.
Sunday morning brunch. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I'd rather have you for breakfast, lunch, and dinner. It's at the table. I want you to taste the food first. Mmm. Hey, that's good. You're a great cook. I want to learn at least one recipe a week so that mm -hmm. in six months, Mm -hmm. We'll both eat the whole one. Mmm, okay. And I'm sure all your dishes will be delicious. You really think so? Mm hmm I'm good enough to invite some friends over for dinner. Like who? Mm -hmm. I don't know. Couples, friends, like us. I don't have any friends like that. Most of my friends just appear to do my divorce. Some of them became pretty close to my wife. Do I look okay? You look great. Are you sure? Yeah. Hi, Sarah. This is Kim. Finally, he decides to bring you around. Kim, it is a pleasure to meet you. I have heard so much about you. Thank you. I've heard so much about you, too. I never expected Hank to tell you about me. Every time he comes over, he talks nonstop about you. Really? Um, why don't you let me introduce you to some of our friends? I'd love to. Okay. <laughs> Hi, I'm Ken. Hank, good to see you, man. Good to see you, too. How have you been, Hobbit? Good. How's life treating you? Very good. Very good. Thank you. It looks like he's doing real fine, having a young one like that. <laughs> Who's stopping you? Having a wife like mine. <laughs> but this one doesn't need my money. <laughs> oh, good for you. Good for you. <laughs> hey, who's that guy standing next to George? Oh, he's a famous defense lawyer. Drug dealer's father is accusing George. He might have another courtroom battle in his hand. What courtroom battle? Someone sent a message to Jimmy's killer. You hurt my son, I chop yours. I don't believe George can do something. If you can't be a good Christian when it comes to that, not that it'll bring the kid back, but it ends the insult, having a killer walk free after you bury your own. Good to see you there. I have to go. Don't be a stranger, man. <laughs> Thank you. Hi. Thank you. Here we The brown footballs are fantastic. I guess you told them how much you like to see them. Everybody knows you. You must have had a good life when you were married. Do you miss it? Some of it. Like what? Like spending time with my kids. Did you have a big house? You had to with that many kids. like working today. I'll call Joe. No. We need the money. I want to have friends like Sarah. I'll pick you up there. You'll be rested when you do.
don't forget to put the food in the refrigerator. Start the paperwork or your sex life will suffer. You're not my type, but I'll take your money. You still have to come down to my office and sign the contract. You know, Hank, having a lawyer as a client gives me nightmares. I think you know exactly what I'm talking about. You're gonna have to trust me this time. Dennis, I don't have the luxury of wasting time anymore. I'm on top of it. I was hoping that greedy old father-in-law of yours would be dead by now. A mutual friend is gonna meet him on Tuesday. Good, good. Let's make sure he's made a big offer. Maybe I'll even offer you a job. Now I know your secret, Albert. George, you have your own fountain of youth. <laughs> Isabel, how about you make us some coffee? like you, George. You're a man's man. That's why I invested a fortune with you. And did very well. But you're here to talk to me on the behalf of an immoral man. A crook who happens to be the father of my grandchildren. You gave him everything. And he took advantage of you. He stole from me, George. I could never condone what Hank did to you. But if he could get his license back, he would be able to leave something for his children. Thank you, dear. Oh, if you like some more, there's more in the pot. That'll be fine. Mm -hmm. Mm. She's always served the best. Uh, I remember the first night I ever came here for dinner. It was raining. And you walked in like a prince from a foreign land. <laughs> you still remember? Of course. I just wish my dick stayed as active as my brain. <laughs> <laughs> Money was never an issue with you, Albert. But I want you to get a good sum. I'll throw in the property in Palm Springs. George, I admire what you're trying to do. A man of your status, still in mourning, takes the time to help an old friend. They don't make people like you anymore. I can't say yes, sir. Not until I talk with my daughter. You understand? Well, then. Maybe so soon. I'll go to the house and say goodbye to you. Good to see you, George. She looks so much like you. I think so. Yeah. This is Vera in elementary school. 
You know, she's graduating oh, from college cute. next month. Can you believe how long they grow up? I wish I knew you guys. <laughs> You'll be running around in your diapers. Uh-huh. Oh, they were a couple of wild guys in those days. Glad you two finally grew up. Oh, no, I'm attracted to them bad boys. <laughs> <laughs> have you tried the chicken? Oh, it's fantastic. You really have to give me some of your recipes. I will. You come over any day after 4 o'clock, and I will. Sarah's one of a kind. She's never too tired to make some home-cooked meals for her friends. You always make home-cooked meals? Yeah, <laughs> most of the time. Yeah. <laughs> wow. Kim's making some delicious meals. All we need is some good company. <laughs> yeah. You know, you and George should come over sometime. We'd love to. <laughs> this is Vera at prom. Vera? God, she was so beautiful. She was so cute. She, she still had, is. She had that yeah. head of hair from the day she was born. <laughs> Oh my gosh, I had forgotten about this. It was Christmas. Yeah. Have you been working on like, yeah. that seafood recipe that we talked about? Yeah, with the wine. The old man's not going to be much of a problem. Your ex? Bring her a diamond necklace. Show you're a changed man. Last time I tried that, she accused me of stalking her. Have one of your kids arrange it this time. Romancer. Treat her like a beautiful woman. I'll try, George. I'll pay you back every dime. I know you will. I want to go home. Go handle your business. Money can take care of complications. seems to be attracted to him. <laughs> I think it's cute. Did you enjoy dinner? If I ever see you again, I'll kill you.
Get off my property. I'm not leaving without your signature. You're never going to practice law again. Now get lost. I don't want you around my house. You've taken everything I had, Albert. Just let it go. I'll pay you back for the rest of my life. You haven't learned anything, have you? The only reason you're still alive is because I owe it to my grandchildren. Be grateful for that. Leave, or I'll call the cops. I told you, I'm not leaving without your signature. I'm not afraid of you, you old bastard. Isabel! I'm gonna shove that gun right up your ass! Isabel, call 911! Call 911! Call 911! I like the towels you said. The quality, the color. But for the bedding, we're thinking silk. Washable silk? Quality Egyptian cotton, it lasts. Plus, I like what your designer did with them. And we have to add additional dry cleaning units. It's expensive. We'll manufacture and import the silk. We're willing to invest for a long-term contract. Are we talking about all locations here? Yes, excuse me, gentlemen. I'll be right back. What the fuck are you doing, Hank? A few more dollars would have changed his mind. They say it was a burglary. The old man walked in on the robber. I want him. He's a loyal friend. He's worked for us before. There is no us. What are you worried about? There's nothing to be worried about. How long do you think it'll take them to connect the dots? There's, there's no dots, there's no prints, there's no tips. I can't take that chance. Get rid of him. I can't do that. Hank, why are you protecting this man? Where were we? See those two guys by the van? They're cops. They're watching them 24-7. Person getting that kind of attention is a very dangerous person. What are his habits? He's clean. He's a one-woman man, works a lot. That's what doesn't make sense. They're watching him like he's a terrorist. Why don't they arrest him? They think he has accomplices. I don't give a rat's ass. When it comes to money, all the foreigners are the same. Keep me out of it. You're having lunch? No, I gotta work on this. Relax. Negotiation's like a dance. Offer, counteroffer. It's all the same. 
So what are you gonna do about this surfer boy? She's your star dancer. You protect her with your life. Can you tap his phone? Yeah, his uh, apartment is easy. The dealership's gonna take some planning, though. We're gonna have to hire new people, new faces. If they catch wind of us watching them, it's gonna get bad for both of us. Do it. In the meantime, meet your guy in public places. Schedule it ahead of time. I told you golf is addictive. I can't stay long. My kid found my asshole father. Cyril wants to fly him over for the wedding. Cyril's doing the right thing. Too late to reconcile with that imbecile. So you want me to tell your imbecile father of yours he's not family? Yeah. Then go to the island and stay there. The law is following you. Let them miss you for a while. You hired an eye to watch me? I'll tell you all about it when you return. For now, let them see if they talk to me while you're gone. George, my case is close to be settled. Good Lord knows what to do. What do I tell Kim? Take her with you. Treat her to the vacation she's never had. I'll go after I do a few things. You're not to talk to anybody in this country, not even your lawyer. You talk to me only when I call you. I still need to know who did it. You're looking at him. Don't worry, I'll never involve you. and we're leaving Sunday. <laughs>
Roger that. Let's go. Yeah, I'll call you tomorrow night. Now the circus was in town. You uh, looking for something? Yeah, I, I missed the ferry. And if I'm not in Catalina in two hours, I'm one dead clown, man. It's not gonna work. I just docked. Hey, come on. This is just for one way. And an invitation to the hottest teenage birthday party with all the finest looking chicks in town. What do you say? Hop on. Right. Let's party. Uh, shit me about those young girls, are you? I mean, you really get them to sit on your lap? You're a lucky son of a bitch, clown. Tell me you're sorry for what you did to Kim. Huh? It's you. You're that creep that stole my Tell girl. Tell me you're sorry for what you did to Kim, you bastard. Get on your knees and beg for forgiveness. Look, look man, she ruined my life. How's the family? Good, good. Very well. George might keep me there longer than I want to be. If he does that, you take care of it. Well, good, then that means we'll see you soon. 
Is George there? Oh, honey, he's at work. Um, you know, you have to call him there. Do you uh, have that number? Uh, yeah, I do. Thank you, Sarah. who's been sending you all these messages. Bring her in. Make it a short stay. Ken. Well, you all right? I fell from the stage. Have you seen the doctor? Yes, Hank was here when it happened. I'm worried, George. He wouldn't leave me like this. And you never return my calls. I'm very sorry. I've been very busy. Is he in some kind of trouble? No. Why you say so? I didn't hurt myself. Hank warned him, and the police say he's missing. Hank did not tell me about this. He would never do anything that foolish. He used to call me ten times a day from work. I haven't heard from him in over a week. You need to be honest with me. Where is he? He's with some relatives. I don't have their number, but I can get it to you. Please do. I... I can't take this anymore. I'm really afraid I'm gonna do something stupid. Don't talk to the police anymore. I will get you in touch with him, I promise. George, they're waiting for you in Cyril's office. I'll be right there. Would you like to stay for lunch? No, thanks. I, I really need to go. My head hurts. You take care of yourself. I will see you soon. Let me, me or Sarah know if you need anything. I appreciate it. I just want to hear from Hank. You will. Okay. Soon. Take that off now. I knew it. He's in trouble. I'm sending you to be with him. Where is he? He'll meet you at the airport when you arrive. He killed my ex and you're protecting him. Hank did not kill anyone. Then why 
Why did he run away? I'm sure he will explain everything to you. Here. Take one of these. It'll relax you. is a Canadian green card. Pay cash for everything. Buy a book. Read a lot. He'll bring you back for my son's wedding. I think there's close friends on the island. They're fun. You'll have a blast, I promise. No, you're the only good thing that happened to me in LA, and you're here. I know you do. Talk about it in your dreams. It's because I'd rather live the rest of my life with you in LA. I could live anywhere with you, as long as we're together. What kind of party is this? Don't worry, we're among friends. Spiro! Oh, it's about time you showed up. <laughs> How are you? Very good, very good. Hello, my dear. Good to see you. Good to see you. <laughs> you want to dance? I'd love to. Go for it. I hope you like fishing. Of course I do. Drink. OK. Now we have our cleanup crew. Welcome <laughs> to board. Let's bring back a lot of old memories. Huh? Alex and his partner used to own part of the North Shore. It's worth mega millions right now. When did you sell it? I didn't. I gambled it all away. <laughs> it was a long time ago. Come, let us enjoy our expensive toys, eh? Huh? Yeah. <laughs> Gourmet chef wannabe. No. I'll clean it for you. Good morning. Good morning. Sleep well? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Oh! <laughs> I'm never eating fish again, you bastard.
Pag no Boru Chun. Embrace your new life. May it be a long one. George. You're right. They're still watching me. I'm sure all your phones are bugged by now, so I'll run a sweep here and at the house. They're gonna stay with you till they find me. Why do you think they're watching me? You're his friend. At some point, they figure you're gonna contact me. Why aren't they harassing me? They harass you? They don't find him. Besides, the ex-husband, the father-in-law, will get suspicious about the club killings. A man like that can hide for a long time. If I was you, I'd get on with my life. As long as I don't find him, nobody can ask you anything about anything. Eventually, they'll get tired, stop wasting time and money. That's what I do. Okay, flower girls, that's you. Okay, you're doing so good. Oh, uh huh, and like graceful ladies. Look, all right, such a good job. Ring boys, start walking with my handsome fellas. Come on, come on, a little faster. Okay, don't, okay, not so fast though, not so fast. Don't, don't drop the rings. Don't drop the rings. Okay, you're doing so good. Carla's, Carla's mom and her brother, come on. Start walking. There it is, not too much smiling though, because there's children. Okay, no, sweetie, we're not, we're not, no questions right now. We'll talk afterwards, okay. Sarah and George start walking towards me. What a handsome couple you all are. Look at that. So good. And you're getting a call from your agent. All right. Let's just, somebody let's, oh, yeah, keep it going. Thank you, Cairo. Sarah. Let's go. OK, doesn't matter. Go to the end, to the end. The bride and the father. Let's not rush, sweetie. We're gonna get in bed soon enough. Oh. Ah. Ah. Okay, okay, not too much. Not too much. Not too much. I can't talk to this guy anymore. He's in contact with smugglers to take him to Canada. George, did you see him go? Should I let him go? No. Spiro. I know about everything that happens around here. What's the big deal about being a lawyer in L.A., huh? You're living like a king with your pregnant wife. They can't pin it on me. I'll fight it in court. He'll never be involved. You know that was never an option.
just remember that. I told you I could live here with you forever. LA is who I am. I wanted to go back, get everything that I lost. Make you and my kids proud of me again. I did some very bad things. I killed your ex. Please forgive me. He made me angry for what he did to you.